We have two missions. One is to help manufacturing companies improve their practices in the manufacturing extension program. That's about half of what we do. The other half, uh, the other major function of what we do is we help people with ideas that might become businesses. We help them turn them into businesses. We give them the training, the support system, introductions to potential investors uh, and other entrepreneurs that have traveled that path and we just help them take an idea to an IPO. Well, I, I think they are, and not so much because I've looked at the aggregate numbers or I can make predictions on what our economy is going to be like, but in the sector that I work in, which is taking starting companies and turning them into bigger companies, uh, A, you always have to be positive because you're not going to be successful if you can't be. You want to be realistic about it. Um, but the, one of the things we've learned is that out of tough economic times come some of your biggest, best companies. A lot of the big companies were founded, started in the weakest economic times. So, uh, yes, I would be optimistic. Well, there's several things, um, and these fall more in the category of making good things better rather than, than, than challenges. One is, Mississippi is a very entrepreneurial state. We build a lot of businesses, and we don't think of ourselves always as being good entrepreneurs, but we are. So one thing is, believe in yourself. You can do it. You're just as good as we are just as good in our space, in the things we do well as Silicon Valley is or, or New York City is or any other place. Um, Secondly, our government leaders need to uh, make it a regulatory light environment um, and not to burden the, uh, the businessman with or girl, woman, with uh, excess regulations. We're pretty good on that, but we can always be better. Uh, also, um, support our entrepreneurs, um, you know, be encouraging and um, help them with the money, the encouragement, the time, resources that they need. Well, I think uh, Brad McMullen's BFAC uh, is, is an emerging success story. They, Brad took his company, a couple of them, through our program several years ago, and they're now one of the top app developers for Google uh, in the Southeast. So I think you'll see that uh, emerging as one of our success stories. But there were st successes before that, like Joel Baumgart, who was a graduate of our system, um, and as well as more recent smaller ones like Bacon Bowl, uh, which brought some jobs and manufacturing back to Mississippi. Well, I have partnered with a fellow by the name of Jim Scott to have a company called Best Tech Brands, which is launching a series of engine additives uh, called Synergen, and we're going to have a major advertising launch this fall. Uh, you're not going to see as many advertisements for collapsing hoses, but you'll get very tired of seeing advertisements for our Synergen engine treatment and fuel additives. Um, it's a very green company. It saves people money. Uh, it saves fuel. It reduces emissions. Um, some of our additives were co-developed with NASA, are patented, and are biosourced. <laughs>